Okay, we're on the air. Uh, we need to clean this up a little bit and we need to fix some a few little things that some people might call bugs, other people might call features. Um, so let's do that. I went through and set all these to null and because I don't like getting those warnings. I know we get them sometimes, but I don't like them. And I created me some regions. And about the only thing I did was I moved this turn one page up, you know, from where I had it because I couldn't find it. I created a new method called clear visible text. And you might remember we commented it out in this set vis right here. So instead of set visible text that we had already commented out, I'm doing clear visible text. And in the update after we stop, we're setting the text. So let me show you what we did for clear text. I basically copied this set visible text. And I just and set the spaces to everything. And so let's do this real quick. And we do have another bug that we're going to work on. But we had to play catch up first. Okay. So this is looking good. That's not looking good. <laughs> That's what we're going to fix next. Okay. So let's stop this. Basically, we want it to be 180 or 0 when it lands, okay? And so let's go to the open book text. I set a start rotation of start rotation for that front page because that's what's getting out of alignment. And um, and our update on this, we're checking for one second. And theoretically, it's supposed to go 180 degrees in one second. But that's not etched in stone based on, you know, the speed of device or speed of your PC. So we're going to fix that. Um, I created, I started this video, video before, so I'm sorry. I've already typed some of it. But that's a good thing. Y'all don't have to watch me type. Control copy, and we're going to see if it'll let us do this new rotation here too. Control V, paste that in. So if it's uh, open, we want it to be 180 when we're done. So, and we need to get the start rotation on the open. So let's say start rotation. equals transform rotation and just in case I've got that wrong we did something similar in flip page so we can look at that code uh-huh yeah I think that that will do it okay so we're getting the start rotation because we want everything the same except we just want the rotation so if they open it we want it to be 180 if they close it we want it to be zero so we're going to see if this works for us if not we're going to pause it and see what else we need to do so let's click run okay let's click close so it's 180, that's what we want. Let's click close. And that's good. Let's click open again. And close again. The last time it just took a couple times before it was a problem. So I think that has fixed this problem. And let's do text. Let's close it. Get another verse. Okay, this is three pages. Let's see how this turns. Let's. We have some that's big, like we can do X seventeen eleven. Um, this is only three. Let's see if we can get this X one. Hmm. We do have one that's five pages. Four. One to three. I can't see this. 
Is that five? Let's see. Let's play on maximize. And maybe we can see better. Because I'm wanting to make sure that the page number is right. Two to three. Okay, that's good. Uh, one to three. Two to three. Three to three. Maybe we need to make these bold. Let's make it bold so we can see. Okay. We're just going to make them all bold. Bold. We're going to save it. I had not saved in a while. File, save scene. Okay. We should be able to see better now that it's bold. Page one of two, two of two. Again. One of three. I think that's a three. Is that a three or is that a five? Four or five? It might be a five. I just can't see the font. Anyway, so this looks good. You know, if you don't care about uh, particle effects and stuff, you can just call this good. Otherwise, Stay tuned for the next video.